hi folks uh here i am with uh, tang uh she is from the philippines and she's a beautiful filipina so uh can you like uh, maybe introduce yourself uh to my viewer uh Teng? hello everyone well um first of all i want to say thank you for you sir for this opportunity for giving me the chance to be in part of your uh video uh mm -hmm. i am christy I'm married with an older man, mm -hmm. with a German citizen, mm -hmm. and I'm 23 years old. Mm -hmm. I finished my study with a degree of Bachelor of Elementary Education. Oh, okay, good. So, uh, how, how old is your husband, your German husband? My husband is 58. 58? Okay. Yes. Uh, your what? What? Uh, what's your husband name? I cannot pronounce your. Is it? How do you pronounce it? I, I'm not even one of my. Owe. Owe. Okay, so that's easy. Owe. Owe. Yeah. And then, uh, it, I guess the first question was, uh, how did you guys uh, met? How did you? Can you uh, kind of share with us? Yeah, I met my husband also here in YouTube. I have, I have a tita. She have a friend uh -huh. that is also a, also a vlogger, and then she interviews so much Filipina. Oh. And for Filipina who are looking for friends or looking for a special someone, so mm -hmm. I was in that interview last February twenty twenty one. Oh. So okay. after that, after that interview, uh, mm -hmm. my husband faster have. Uh, did something, how to reach me, how he can contact me. And then after that, we started to have a conversation. So it's all started here in YouTube. Oh, wow. <laughs> it started with the, <laughs> yeah. with the interview. What is your Tita channel? You know, uh, I may have to check it out. What is your Tita channel? No, my Tita don't have a channel, only her friend. Oh, her friend. Her friend has a channel. Yeah. Uh, and he was being yeah, yeah. interviewed by her friend. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I missed that. All right. So, what what was your your um your Tita French channel? Do you want to share? With it's yeah, of course. It's okay. It's today with baby me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it now. Okay, because uh, I um I um like I know Paul. Uh, I I kind of uh, like uh, like what do you call that? Uh, sometimes we correspond by by email. <laughs> I did not know. Oh that. yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> what a small one. So yeah. you, are, you are also in uh, Dumaguete. Yeah, right? I'm here in Dumaguete. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's that's great. That's great news because I'm trying hey. to kind of concentrate on Dumaguete. I, I heard that uh, there's so many uh, foreigners in Dumaguete, right? Yeah, so much foreigner. <laughs> oh, okay. Especially in the volleyball. Okay, so uh, your your husband always saw you, and obviously, uh, you know, he fell in love with you. That's why he tried to reach you. And yeah. how long did you correspond? And you know, how long did you, you know, like uh, talk back? We we have a conversation after that. The video is posted. We started that conversation, uh -huh. and then after two weeks, uh -huh. or it's not two weeks, we finally become official girlfriend and boyfriend wow two weeks huh that was two fast weeks. yeah what, what's yeah. the rush <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the what's the rush it's not really rush you know if you really feel that uh -huh. this person is really you're comfortable with this uh -huh. person are really listening to you this person have give time and efforts right you know i'll, I'll give a sign to myself that if this person give an effort to me uh -huh. then i will not take it so long i will just try it you know you know what i think um you know because I'm, I'm from the philippines as i <clears throat> told you i noticed that uh filipina or even probably filipino i think more filipina for my best of my experience if they want you they would just you know say yes they don't you know they don't try to uh try to like you know, what do you call that uh, 
try to give you a hard time. If they want you, they want you, you know. It's fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fast. Uh, that's that's by uh, based on my experience, you know. So, all right. So you you um, you guys corresponded two weeks, and then uh, what happened? Did uh, he came over and proposed to you uh, to your family? Is that is that what happened? Uh, after five months, uh -huh. he he talked to my family privately. Uh huh. He contacted my titas to have communication to them to plan the proposal that he will make five oh. months later after we met. Okay. So he sur he surprised me for the uh, proposal. Oh. That was last July 2021. I don't have any idea. It's only that I was wondering all my family is busy. They're uh -huh. all changing their clothes, anything. They're all gone. They, they oh. will go to another place. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And then they, <laughs> after that, my tita get me and then she said, we will go there somewhere. So uh -huh. I was go because I'm all, yeah, that's it. And then after that, when uh -huh. we arrived to the place, uh -huh. he faster make blindfold with my eyes. Oh, wow. Was yeah. this, uh, was this on video? It was, is, was it on your channel? Was <laughs> it on video or not? Yeah, I made that. I made a video for that. Oh, okay. That's, Online that's cool. engagement. That's yeah, cool. yeah. All right, so uh, you got surprised, and then uh, let me let me ask you though: Is this your first? I guess it's your first time, right? Your first marriage, or ha have you been married before? Yes, of course, it's my first marriage. No, I'm not married your, before. Okay, how about for for uh, Uwe? Is is that your uh, his first marriage, or he's been married before? Second, I'm his second. That okay. is second. Mm -mm. All right. So um, now, uh, are you planning to go to Germany or are you just going to stay in the Philippines? What's the, what's the plan? The plan for the future is that we will stay here in the Philippines for good. Uh -huh. But then he will first uh, give me experience what how to live in Germany as a tourist only like that. Maybe a oh. short period of time. But uh -huh. if he will if he will retired. We will uh -huh. leave her in the Philippines. Okay. Philippines uh, is a good place. Yeah, he's too young. You know, he's he's only 58. Uh, what's the uh, retirement age in Germany? How long does he still have to work? He said it's 67. 67. So that's, uh, oh, that's still like uh, uh, 11 years. No, no, not uh, nine years. He still have nine years to go. Uh, so for now, it's going to be uh, LD uh, long distance uh, relationship. Is that what's going to happen? And then he will just come and visit you? Yeah, he will visit me three times a year. And uh -huh. then in, I know two times, two times a year, but the longer uh -huh. is three months like that. Okay. But you know, with, uh, with social media, it's very almost like you can always FaceTime, right? FaceTime with each other, so that's no problem. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, what does he do? What, what does uh, Owe do uh, what, uh, in Germany? He's a head chef. He, oh, he's a head chef? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love I love <laughs> chef because I work with chef all the time, you know. I'm a butler, you know, so, okay, oh, good. Oh, wow. So he, he's he's a head chef, like a, he worked in a restaurant, or he own a restaurant, or what does he, you know? He's only working in a restaurant and in a hotel. In a hotel, oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know, I would like to talk to him. You know, we, we can talk about food. <laughs> yeah, if you want to talk to him, but I guess you know he really don't have enough time. The time he only is, <laughs> he's very busy for this thing, especially it's winter and then it's much more gas coming uh -huh. like that. He, on, he only have time, sleep, talk to me, work, sleep, talk to me. So yep. there's no other, there's yep. no other, yeah, other that, thing that he can do. That's, uh, that's the thing with, uh, with the service, you know, when you work in a food service, uh, it almost like uh, you work so many hours, you know. So I I understand that. I understand that. Uh, now let's go. Uh, let's let's 
let's talk about uh, now when you, of course, you know when when he make a proposal, did you guys like uh, talk about the future? Like, are you like probably one of the most important thing is uh, uh, are you gonna have children together? Do you talk about that or it was not? not yeah, issue? yeah, of course. We already talk about that. And, we and talk it, about the future before he proposed like that. We will, uh -huh. we will, we, we already make plan for anything. Oh, okay. Okay, That's so it. you want to have children, right? Yes, of still... course, I want children. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, still, you're still very young. You, you're only 23, right? So, uh, yeah. because uh, this is one of the, uh, I think, uh, in, very important, important, uh, you know, uh, to discuss. And then, uh, does, um, uh, how about religion? Are you do you have a, like it's the same religion? Yeah, we have the same religion. We have no problem with that. So that is a Catholic, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Catholic. Okay, and then uh, so he's a chef. Is he used to eating rice? <laughs> <laughs> or he's a more no. potato, right? Potato. He like potato. Yeah, potato, potato, <laughs> <laughs> salad. All uh, veggies. Oh, that's it. He don't. He don't eat rice. It, he will yes. only eat rice. I guess if she, if he's with me. Oh, uh, I, I think German. <laughs> they, they like to eat uh, pork. Because I, I was trying to make one of uh, like a, uh, you know, uh, what they call is uh, like pata, you know, uh, and I tried to imitate that and did not come out uh, that good, but <laughs> maybe, maybe Owe can, uh, can teach me how to make that, you know? <laughs> so. Maybe one time, if you have time. His favorite yeah. is pork, yeah? Schnitz, how uh -huh. to pronounce that? Schnitzel, schnitzel. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, I know, I, that's yeah. the one I'm trying to make. Uh, I think, yeah, I know. <laughs> It was just a very looks so e easy. Uh, you uh, mix it with a beer, right? It's with with beer. I don't know how to cook that. But ha <laughs> has only... he has he make it for you? Have he, has he make it for you? Yeah, but the different, you know, it's different here in the Philippines because oh. you cannot get all the ingredients that he always use. Yeah. In I... in his country. Yes, I have seen that uh, on uh, on YouTube, and they use beer. They use beer with, with for for the port, and uh, like I said, you know, it's supposed to be very crispy outside, very crispy, and then uh, tender inside. But but mine, mm -mm. Did not, but you know, mine was uh, did not come out. I prefer maybe just make the lechon, right? <laughs> lechon is much much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lechon is uh, delicious, especially the skin. <laughs> you bite, right? So, um, why can you tell me, like, uh, why is it uh, there's a lot of uh, foreigner in Dumaguete? Can you just kind of share your uh, uh, your area? Why is it so many uh, foreigner in uh, in Dumaguete? Because they believe that Dumaguete is one of the beautiful places. It's not uh -huh. small, but and it's not big. It's only enough that you can enjoy. Uh -huh. And then also Dumaguete for now is one, now it is top four of the safest place. You know, oh. that's why they, you know, Dumaguete is, they always say the people that is generous. Oh, so not all. <laughs> it's really nice here in Dumaguete. If you haven't tried it, you can try uh -huh. and then you can judge it. Yeah, I want to go. They, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They always tell that experience is the best oh, okay. before you can take. Mm -mm. I've been to many places in the Philippines because I used to, uh, I was uh, in cell. Um, Agente ako, you know, I'm a, I'm a sales, ma sales rep uh, before, but I cannot really remember if I've been to Dumaguete or not. You know, if I, if I have, uh, if I've been to Dumaguete, it would be just like uh, maybe for a daytime, you know, just for briefly. So I could not really uh, tell if I, if I been to Dumaguete, but I would love to visit. I would love to visit. Um, and then I think, I think one or probably from what I'm hearing, the foreigner love the Dumaguete because uh, the Filipina there are very beautiful. Is that is that true? <laughs> well, everything. Uh, 
everywhere in the Philippines, there are much more Filipino. That is beautiful, not only in Dumaguete. Oh, okay. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I cannot tell that it's only in, in Dumaguete because there are also in Cebu like that. Uh -huh. Okay. So you have, have you been to Cebu? Yeah, I was and, there. And then what, uh, have you been to Manila? No, not yet. Not yet. The first time, the reason why I I was in Cebu because that's the airport that I I picked my husband there. The first time we oh, met. Okay. That's okay. also the first time that I reached Cebu. Oh, okay. Big big city, mm -hmm. right? Big city. Yeah, it's a big city. Do you do you like Cebu? Well, it's nice. Uh -huh. But I don't, if I will be living in, the, in Cebu, I will choose not to stay in the city because of so, so much crowded. cars, vehicles. Yeah, it's yeah. so crowded like that. Yeah. If, if I will have the chance, mm -mm, overpopulated. <laughs> yeah. But it's very nice, you know. I, I like the city life because I, I grew up in Manila. So I kind of like the city life. But at the same time, I, I can understand what you're saying. Uh, it's very uh, polluted. I uh, when I was uh, I went back home uh, like um, before the lockdown in twenty I think twenty twenty or twenty nineteen, and uh, I don't I don't usually get sick, but uh, when I was in the Philippines, I got sick because I was too much pollution, you know, uh, from the smoke from the from the car. It just, uh, I don't know, for some reason, it, it made me sick. I got, you know, cough. <laughs> I was coughing like crazy, you know. Why, so. why you have it if you grown up here in the Philippines? Why you uh, have such feelings like that? Yeah, I, I was, uh, I've been away too long. You know, I've been here since uh, a long time in, in state, you know, in the U.S. And it's not. I feel because I'm in I'm in Florida, right? In Florida, it's uh it's very uh, the streets are very wide, and uh, we don't have pollution. You know, you don't see the smoke. Uh, in the Philippines, uh, you you probably don't Everywhere. notice. You probably don't notice because you live there. It's it's very smoky. But I think Dumaguete, what you know, it's not you know. I think Dumaguete is much better than uh, probably like Cebu. Did you see the yes, different, um, right? Did you see, you, yeah, you yeah. saw the different when you went to Cebu, kind of very crowded, and then you yeah. see the smoke, too much smoke from the car, probably, you know? Any Anything, you can smell it. That's yeah. so, that's it. Okay. It's really, it's really different. So you, you, Here. you, you you want to live in Dumaguete, right? You want to live in Dumaguete. You don't want to move. I actually I just moved her in Dumaguete. I also live. I was in the. I was a province girl. Trucks, province. I'm uh -huh. living in the province, and uh -huh. then after I get married with my husband, uh -huh. we decide. We decide that we will have a house here in Dumaguete so I can leave her and then I will have stable connection because mm -hmm. in the province, the connection is really a big problem. Oh. And since I'm making also my YouTube and then when I'm talking to him, mm -hmm. it's very, connection is sometimes the hindrance, you know. Yeah. it's, it's So not... we find solution. Okay. Uh, so you live in the province. Is, is when you say province, is like how far is that from Dumaguete? Two to three hours travel. Wow, two to three hours. Oh yeah. wow! How do you commute? Do you uh, by uh, how do you go back home? You know, to your province. Bus. By bus? Oh, okay. Yeah, by bus or by van. Oh wow! Two to three hours. <laughs> that's that's. A, that's yeah. far away. So for you, this is uh, this is great in Dumaguete City. You know, you got uh, better better internet, and you got lots. You got mall. You, you have you like mall. <laughs> I'm not really used to go to mall. That's not my thing. Oh, it's not your thing. Okay, 
Yeah. Right. If because if I will go to mall, oh my god, I will only look for the prices, so I cannot enjoy the view. I will always look how much is this? Oh, it's expensive. Then throw back. <laughs> yeah, like I know. That. Yeah, I, 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 you know, we used to like the mall, but now I don't like to go to the mall be because you can get much better deal online. You know, you can see the prices, and when you go to the mall, it's everything's so expensive, right? So where, yeah. where, where do you buy your stuff? Uh, like uh, if you want to buy something, do you buy from uh, online like Lozada, something like that? I'm using Shopee. Oh, Shopee. You use Shopee. Oh, I think Shopee. That's... <laughs> you hear that Shopee? <laughs> yeah, Shopee and uh, also Lozada. I think that's very kind of very popular in, in the Philippines. Mm, I'm not using Lazada because it's much more expensive than Shopee. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know. Okay, good to know. Any, anyway, so uh, let's see here. Hello. Uh, let me see. I have a note here. I think I cover everything. So, oh, now let me ask you though. Uh, so, so far, do you like? Um, how long did uh, did? Always stay with you when uh, when he went back to the Philippines. How long did he stay with you? The first time or the second time? <laughs> oh, let, you know both. Uh, the first time is how long did he stay so, with you? The the first time we met, he only stayed here uh, three weeks. Uh huh. And then the second time? The second time it's two months. Oh wow, two months, huh? Is is that the the second time was the I guess the marriage, right? When when yeah, you guys... yeah, the second time is the marriage. Okay, so when do you feel like uh, do you feel like comfortable if you go out with Uwe, you know, to let's say to the store to the market, you feel comfortable? Yeah, Pe I feel so comfortable. People are not staring at you, to the two of you, because you have a a foreigner with you. Yeah, that's all. That's normal here, Mister Jembo. Oh, it's, it's normal very nor here that oh, okay. if they, if you will, if somebody will see you that you're with foreigner, oh, they will pass you look to you. Uh -huh. I look like they they judge you, but I don't care. <laughs> we don't it's, care. Yeah, it's your life, right? <laughs> it's your life. You don't, yeah. You don't mind. Yeah. And then, uh, can what can you suggest for young Filipina? Would you, you know, uh, like do. You, would you recommend them to marry a, a foreigner for, for you? Uh, it depends to them. If they want to marry a foreigner, they uh -huh. should be serious. They should mm -hmm. they will should not take it as only a playtime because foreigner, especially mature, they're older and foreigner is very serious. And mm -hmm. then they are not just kind of playboy like that. Mm -hmm. And I believe most most if it's still young they only maybe they only want to try like that but they don't want but it's not all because i also seen any of uh, many videos in youtube that they're much more younger than me uh -huh. and then 19 years old and then the foreigner is 70 plus like that yep yep so it's not really a problem if you want to marry a foreigner as long as it's pure as long as you have no bad intention or anything uh -huh. Good. If you want um, that the foreigner will, will treat you the way you want to be treated, then you should also treat mm. uh, the same way. It's not because, only one-sided. Good. Uh, I have uh, I, I did uh, I did the video uh, reaction video about the 19 years old uh, Filipina and then the the man was uh, 71 and then it's, it's a lot of uh, people uh, you know understand that uh, but also at the same time people are criticizing they were saying it's that normal. Uh, yeah they were saying it's only that for money yeah money now, yeah it's almost like a marrying for money and then she, they were saying that 19 years old is it's a teenager. Do you consider 19 years old a teenager? Do you think? Yes, it's still it's still teenager because it's coming from 19. Mm -hmm. So it's still teen. But okay. if they are matured enough to think what is right and what is wrong, it's, it doesn't matter as long as they know what they're doing, as long as they will not do bad things to make oh. the Filipino more bad. Oh, okay. You know, I we... We are all Filipina dealing with foreigners, so we should take care 
for the uh, what you call that image of the Filipina. They should not make such things. You mm-hmm. know, there are more foreigners also telling that F- Filipina is calmer. At the same time, also Filipina think that foreigners are calmer. So it's both sides. It's not one sided. That's very so true. So as long as long as you uh, you are serious, as long as you know that, as long as you love the person, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very, very you good. know, if you're date, if you're dating with a matured man, even you are just teen, mm. you will be you will be influenced how mm. how they acted. You mm. just forget that oh, I'm teen, but I I don't I'm not feel that way because I have a matured mind. Mm. I have a very wide mind like that. Mm. Very very good because uh, some you know some mature men you know they act like a teenager. <laughs> they, yeah, they can be very. I, I'm an old guy, you know, but I still my mind is still like a, I'm a teenager. I still feel I'm I'm young, you know, so I can talk to anybody. Uh, yeah, I, I feel I'm young. I still feel like uh, I'm a kid, but uh, my body said no. You're too old. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, my husband say that to me. If I'm with you, I feel young. Oh, okay, that's that's good. <laughs> that's good. And then I will tell to that I will I will tell to him also. If I'm with you, I feel so mature. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's perfect. That's that's. Yeah. I think that I think the two of you are just perfect balance. You know, so that's good. Thank you. You, you, you got to have uh, like <laughs> sense of humor in life, right? Because life. As they say, life is short, so we have to enjoy enjoy what when you when you can, you know. So, uh, what, what anything else that you want to share with uh, with uh, with the viewer, and then talk up, you know, like uh, try to convince uh, other people that uh, it's fine, you know, age gap is fine. Do you do you want to share that? Yeah, of course I can. So to all the viewers out there who have bad thoughts about age gap, stop it. Because age is just a number. That's what they always say and that's what I believed in. Mm -hmm. You know, if you will truly love the person, you will never mind how old he is, if he's younger or older than you. It's not only about that older. There are also some scene like, it's not only... That all, all the time, it's the man is much more older. It's mm-hmm. vice versa, you know. There are also young men who will fall in love with an older woman like that. Mm-hmm. So if you stop criticizing those mm-hmm. uh, couple who have a very age gap because mm-hmm. you have no uh, contribution to the relationship. Right, but, right. Uh, just always think positive. Yeah, just mind their own business, right? I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> do you, do you have? Uh, do don't you have, care. Do you have uh, like a situation in, in uh, Dumaguete? Do you have uh, like a, a Filipino a man marrying a foreigner lady? Do you have that? Have you seen anybody like that? <laughs> no, I didn't see it in Dumaguete, but I seen it in YouTube also. <laughs> Not here in Dumaguete. YouTube, right? I, I don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I... wish you know. For me, I I was trying to right now. I'm trying to like promote uh, maybe that uh, you know foreigner woman in a, not only uh, like uh, men. You know, foreigner women should also consider moving to the Philippines. Uh, let's say single, single foreigner women, uh, because everything is so expensive here in in state right now, and then there's a lot of uh, let's say. Um, retired, you know, retired women, uh, they should consider moving to the Philippines because, you know, their dollar, uh, you know, like stretch more. You know, if they if they have uh, like 1,000 or 2,000 uh, retirement a month, here in, in U.S., it's, it's, it's going to be very difficult. But uh, if they move to the Philippines, it, they have a good life, you know. So I think I'm going to try to make a video about that, that, uh, you know, American wom- women should also consider moving to the Philippines. Would you uh, recommend that, uh, you know, American women, uh, older women moving to the Philippines? Yeah, I saw also other older women, American 
here, but they're not in a relationship with the Filipino. The same with foreigner also, American. So, mm-hmm. that's a great idea. It's a good place to the, here in the Philippines. It's a nice place because it's maybe, yes, for us Filipino, it's expensive also. But I'm for sure U.S. people or American people, they will make it a little cheaper here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they, and they always they can always like let's say if they are worried like uh, they're single, you know, they, when they move there, they can always uh, get like a caretaker, you know, to help them, you know. Yeah. Thank you. So I think that's a it, that's a win win situation. Anyway, so. I thank you again, uh, Christy, or I'll uh, thank thank you for coming on on my channel. You know, I appreciate it. I'm gonna, you know, uh, I'm gonna do uh, some edit and then I'll I'll share it on my channel. You know, uh, maybe in a day or two. So thank you, uh, thank, and maybe okay, I would. Would you mind if I will promote my channel? <laughs> say, say, say that again. I'm sorry. Would you mind if I will promote my channel for them to visit my channel also? Oh, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put your channel. I'm gonna put your channel below so they, you know, uh, they can go to your channel, check out your channel. Of course. Yeah, Thank you, you, you Mr. Jim. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>